Tim Order of ePlan Software and Services is a resident digitalization expert focusing on integrations and software implementations of the future. Here, Tim demonstrates how ePlan and PTC have partnered to support end-to-end -end customer process workflows, even at the post-installation stage. Using cloud technology, you can access relevant information to pinpoint a source of error or failure from anywhere and thus identify the culprit in the control panel instantly. Here we see that a conveyor has stopped. The customer calls the service technician to look into the issue. The technician checks the motor on the conveyor and no obvious mechanical issues are found. The next step is to check to see if there is an electrical issue. Using ePlan eView and our augmented reality application based on PTC technology, the technician gets access to relevant mechanical and schematic information of the motor. The technician now analyzes the electrical path from the motor to its connected devices. To understand why there is no power to this motor, we take a look at the power supply in the schematics layout and spot the motor protection switches. Let's pause here for a minute because you looked a little surprised. Maybe this isn't familiar to you because in most instances, this would be a manual process for technicians. They need to pull plotting paper files, a binder manual, or a PDF file to analyze the plant infrastructure for analysis. But with today's progressive solutions, this process can be completed much faster with less know-how required. Hang tight, we actually have more to show you. The technician flips back into AR view for the mechanical plant and locates the control panel on the shop floor. Using the tablet once again, he scans the cabinet and now can see the control system in a 3D view using the data from ePlan Pro Panel. In addition, he can quickly locate the problem switch that needs to be replaced. The technician can replace the part and now also use eView to redline the schematics to show the work completed. This information can be sent back to the original ePlan project with supporting documentation. It's not unbelievable, it's ePlan.